everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jurassic Survival. Oh dear god, they're coming already. Alright, let's start mowing them down. Welcome back to another episode of Jurassic Survival. Everybody, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, first things first, we gotta deal with this Dillo army. There was a nifty little crashed car nearby that I wanted to head on over to because, uh, why the hell not? Am I right? And then as soon as we're done, hopefully withstanding some attacks from these dudes, where you at? Ah, oh, there they- Oh dear god, that's a lot of them. Oh yeah, this is the boss man. Hello, boss man. Please don't kill me. Oh, I did not bring enough medical supplies for this, did I? Well, uh, let's hope that we kill him. Okay, we did. Do you summon any reinforcements? No? I think that's it. Awesome news. And there is even more awesome news after that as well. So we actually got some brand new news tweeted by the Jurassic Survival team that we're going to be talking about here in just a second as soon as we are done looting this place up, getting ourselves some of the loot, getting some of the scoots, and boys, uh, pretty much, long story short, there's reason to believe that you might- You guys remember that barn that we were showing off in the last episode? Ah, uh, well, as soon as you guys see these leaks, I think you're going to be very interested and I think you're gonna be convinced just like I am that this barn is going to be the secret to taming <gasps> gasp I know yeah we got some big stuff to talk about also did I not loot this one I did not let's definitely do that hopefully get some Havea fruit and other stuff like that I hope you guys are having a favorite fantastic day as well apologies for not having said that already let's just make sure that we grab all of our jazz here, take the things, get to work. Hello there, Mr. Carr of the crashed variety. How do you do besides being crashed and stuff? Thank you for some of the goodies. I'm actually probably going to definitely need that bandit. Actually, I need it right now. Hey, back to up 100 health. We can toss that on. That hat's about to break, so I guess we could leave that on. Let's uh, grab what we can. Let's get the hell out of here, and let's get to talking. Boom! This right here is the first thing that uh, the last, not last day, Jurassic Survival Team did tweet along with it. The, uh, the tweet quote is, what kind of plants do they guard so hard on the mysterious field? Was this mysterious field? Well, if you guys take a look at uh, the barn type of dealio with like the spotlight on the left, that is the same thing that we kind of saw that preview type of video from uh, in the last Jurassic Survival video. So by the looks of it, they kind of kind of detailing more information hints in towards more info about what this place will contain and what it's gonna be like and then inside of the diary here you can say day 39 today I've spotted a well-protected farm where they grow a plant that's unknown to me it reminded me of the places I grew up in I gotta find out about this place at the hunters so potentially this is a place that I don't, maybe we have to finish the wall first to get to it or it's gonna be something that maybe we finish Hunter Kane's quest and he lets us know or maybe Hunter Kane even sends us out on a quest to here to to try and find out more about this thing there's a lot of possibilities here but this is definitely the sneak peek video that we saw on the left and then what we can kind of get from that image on the left is that there's gonna be some sort of a watchtower some sort of a guy manning the watchtower tons of tall grass for whatever reason and some sort of a barn in the middle now the tall grass i'm guessing somewhere along and i think a second shed over there in the back with maybe like bales of hail or something not not 100 sure on that one but you can see that the spotlight is going to be trying to find you throughout this i'm guessing that the grass is going to be very easy to sneak through because last day not last day uh Dreadlock survival has implemented a sneaking based event before in the form of the t-rex event and they even have it kind of in the battle royale event and that's kind of like the vibe i was getting from the video and here we can kind of just kind of further reiterate that there's going to be a watchtower looking for you and probably going to start mowing you down as soon as they catch sight of you so that's going to be a little bit tricky but then on the right side we can see this unknown plant over in the barn that's going to be growing. Now, I don't know if that means they're going to be storing this plant inside of the barn. I don't know if that means that it's going to be grown randomly throughout the barn. Whatever it does, though, this plant will be present at the barn. But what perhaps, what kind of properties, what kind of talents could this plant have? I mean, it says that it's mysterious and it's unknown to me. He doesn't know what it does. Well, if we look at this right here, we can actually see another tweet by the Jurassic Survival Team from February 21st. Sometimes there are not only peaceful animals living on farms. Oh, oh, oh. So it appears that this farm somehow has learned how to tame a parasaur, which is going to, by the looks of it, 
be some sort of a mount, pretty much like be the dinosaur version of a horse if I had to take a guess. And you can see that there's some sort of a crazed farmer on top who has a shotgun. I don't, I'm not good. I don't know. It's probably going to be some dude who's going to try to hunt us down if we try to do something. But you can actually see that this entire place is just surrounded in that flower in that plant so i'm guessing that, that it's not maybe there's gonna be something inside maybe there's gonna be a huge stockpile of them maybe there's gonna be some sort of a refinery because you can actually see if you look in the background the barn does have like that kind of like open window and what appears to be some kind of a smoke rising from it you guys kind of notice that right there maybe they're somehow processing this flower this plant into something that will be used to knock out dinos and start taming them because this is the first instance we've seen besides the dead raptor over at the hunters but maybe that's why the hunters will know more about this farm because they are the only known people we've seen with a mount we haven't seen them riding in them but we have at the camp which we'll be visiting a little bit later today to do some more repairs we have seen them doing exactly that so like i'm saying i think that this is a farm where they are refining this stuff it is going to be where you're, we're going to be able to actually see the first mount and i'm guessing that whatever we get on the inside of there if we successfully do sneak in we ourselves can utilize in our quest for taming our first animal i'm guessing the parasaur is gonna be the first animal because that seems the most basic possibility nothing too crazy in terms of attacking just kind of a glorified mount with some storage space on the back at least by the looks of this screenshot so those two alone give us a ton of information which is freaking awesome and like i'm saying i cannot wait to hear from y'all in the comment section regarding this some of your ideas your own hypotheses maybe even your guys' opinions on my ideas all that type of jazz i am freaking exhilarated for but there is one more screenshot on top of all of this lucrative craziness not even a screenshot more of an animation an animation last time we saw an animation it was incorporated in the very next event i'm pretty sure uh well boom right here you guys you can see with the caption watch your steps that was a caption that did follow the tweet and you guys can see what appears to be this guy walking around and in his hands some sort of a device now from my expert opinion because i'm pretty much a metal detectorologist hey right there boys and girls that is a metal detector so somewhere somehow we're going to be detecting some sort of stuff in the dirt we're going to be able to get a metal detector maybe this will be another player another ai that we encounter but a metal detector will be incorporated into this game and will have some sort of a purpose i can't really speculate too much my best guess maybe finding treasure in the ground maybe finding other stuff in the ground who the hell knows but definitely i think even though the the farm stuff is only two still photos I do still think that the information we're getting from that is a whole ton crazier than that little uh, gif that we got of the metal detector. But I am freaking stoked to get that farm and our hands on it. When will we get it? Who knows? But it is going to be an awesome event and hopefully what will allow us our very first a dinosaur mount but with that we have wrapped up the information for today i hope that you guys did enjoy today's information drop and hopefully a jurassic survival update coming our way relatively soon when will relatively soon be when will it come our way who the hell knows not this guy i tell you what all that this guy knows is that it is a coming uh but we probably want to go ahead and get ourselves a little bit of armor a couple things like that because we are about to head on over to uh our favorite place known as the wall we got a great track record over there absolutely awesome and i would like to do i think my number one priority is trying to do some repairs on the uh whatchamacall the ting the elevator because we are very close we're two repairs away from getting that thing done so first things first let's continue making our progress with the band-aids with the vea fruit we are officially one third of the way ladies and gentlemen boys and girls done with the Havea fruit part of the incubator and pretty much i think we are a sixth of the way there for the bandages for dinosaurs and i'm guessing especially with today's theme of talking about potential taming i don't know maybe we'll need an egg and maybe we have to give them the special flower to convince them after they hatch maybe we have to give them that flower to convince them or whatever it's refined into because i really think it's being refined in that barn uh whatever it's refined into and we have to use that to kind of persuade their hormones to be like i 
and your master or something like that i don't know but i'm gonna go ahead do a little bit of inventory management here with our trophies get ready to grab the stuff we need and head on over to gate three and all right boys and girls we have uh, come across a little bit of a uh tough issue uh not really looking forward to this issue but we have a severe shortage of cog wheels and we kind of need 17 more to finish up the elevator. I think, actually, we might need a little bit less than 17 more, but still, three is not going to cut for the amount that we need. So for now, we'll have to improvise. We'll have to put those things away as much as it pains me to do that. Instead, we'll be doing some repairs on the electricity on this fine day. And as we do that, it's probably gonna be a good idea for us. I, I even checked my inbox too here because I thought that maybe we'd have some, but uh, I suppose we don't. So that's absolutely poopy. But let's just go ahead and arm ourselves up a little bit here by getting some uh, rather good clothes because usually the more clothes you have on, the less damage you're taking. Taking less damage, I, I don't know if you guys have ever done it. It's a pretty fun thing because you live longer. I don't know about you guys. I, I intend to live as long as possible. So that's exactly what we're going to be trying to do today with a fresh set of clothes. I think denim jeans are tech technically better than the other thing. So let's go ahead, start tossing all them fresh clothes on and looking like a fly bofo today. And uh, I mean, we got 19 armor ratings, so pretty good. We'll go ahead and put this stuff away too. I mean, it's pretty broken, but hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, actually, in the last day on Earth, at least, if, if it ain't broke, you probably should fix it if it's getting pretty close to being broke. So if it breaks, you can't really fix it after that point because it just disappears from existence. Let's go ahead and put those things away though and make sure that we roll on over here. We'll make sure to have the dog tags too. Maybe head on over to our uh, favorite arena, especially as of late. It's been just, oh, so kind to us. The kindest ever. We also got to kill a poop ton of velociraptors, so we'll probably uh, encounter some today as well. But all in all, looks like we're pretty ready for the journey. Maybe we want to grab a couple of band-aids, couple of healing items here or there. Do we have anything else to heal with? Like, don't we have a mad stockpile of pineapple? Yeah, and the pineapple stockpile continues to grow. Uh, so I think that should be plenty of healing items. We'll make sure to roll with the band-aids first. And if we're hungry, listen, even if it's not a dinosaur apocalypse, pineapples are pretty dope. I don't know. I used to be a pretty pineapple hater. So I'm like, you know, now I'm ugly pineapple hater. No, I kid, I kid. I ain't a hater anymore, dude. Pineapples are the truth. You want to know why pineapples are so dope? They got this secret ingredient to them. It's called a pineapple stuff. Absolutely scrumptious. But uh, the reason that I love them so much is, well, I, I hated them as a kid for some reason. I just didn't understand. I looked at them. I'm like, that, that, that's not a fruit. It's a freaking weapon of war. Looked like a hand grenade, dude. I used to play some World War II games or whatever. Um, I don't know, dude. I feel like you pull the stem, the thing's going to blow up. I feel like there's definitely been some sort of like a food war game where you literally pull the stem on a pineapple and it's a grenade. But still, dude, you gotta admit, pineapples look pretty sketchy and probably like a weapon. I don't know, dude. Probably like hit someone in the face with a pineapple. <laughs> it's gonna hurt, dude. It's gonna hurt. Like pineapples, we could eat them. But uh, we should totally be able to equip them in that primary slot and get to smacking. All right, they spiky and stuff. Oh my God, this dude was the most butt naked man I've seen in a hot minute. I'm sorry, Mr. Butt Naked. What is this? Ooh, I am tempted for that fang deal because we have an absolutely absurd amount of fangs. Pretty solid amount of red scales too, but dude, this is why I love the Gate of Bent so much. It's giving us the tools, the trophies needed to actually try and succeed in these trades. Because before, dude, these trophies were hard to get, but Jurassic Survival did an amazing change. They made it significantly easier. Don't get me wrong, like, he, it's still like the gate event's pretty hard, but if you can manage to kill the bosses, they send like five, six bosses at you. The amount of trophies they drop, it's pretty cranky. So if you're doing some progress on the gate, honestly, by the time we finish repairing this gate slash wall, I'm just saying things are kind of sorta gonna be looking really up for the trophy situation. Uh, hopefully our favorite hunting buddy. I really wish Kane would come here with his freaking intimidating looking gun and help out a little bit. Then we could have three hunters repairing this thing, but apparently Kane's kicking back. Dude's on vacation chilling at our house instead of fighting a good fight. There is the raptor I was talking about a little bit earlier in the video too. Oh, why did you have to die? He could have been a great asset. Honestly, I probably would have went all Grand Theft to Raptor mode and just totally stolen him and ran away. 
Because, I mean, these guys didn't have any weapons when I showed up here. Uh, so what you got? You got an ice pickaxe on you. And you got a slice and knife on you. Well, I actually want a little bit of help here today because our, our healing situation is a bit suspect. Armor situation is pretty good, but we also got a nice little stockpile at a kukris. So I'll go ahead and give you guys that as your first wave of weaponry. And if and when they do break, you can move to your poopy ice axe slash slicer. Dude, honestly, the slicer isn't all that bad. 17 damage on 1.4 attack speed. That is uh, respectable. I could say, but let's head on over to the electricity. Oh, no, don't want to click that. Do this thing on insane mode. And after that, after we do today, we're going to have to do this six more times on insane mode, which is going to take six more stacks of everything, pretty much. Maybe like five stacks of the transistors, but other than maybe five stacks of the blue tape, but it's going to take a lot of stacks to get this stuff done. But so be it. We got racks all racks all racks, boys. Rex L Rex. So, uh, let's get it poppin', shall we? I'm gonna start with the pistol, too, and, uh, shoot anything that comes in the- Where are the Velociraptors at, by the way? I wanna kill those dudes first. Alright, y'all wanna weaken up the Velociraptors for me? Listen, I'm doing this thing for Hunter Kane. You guys know I'm probably your, your Hunter squad over here. Uh, let me kill Velociraptors for favor. Those- Oh, there we go! Velociraptor, die! Oh my god, that's a lot of things- No, 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 no. It's always the second wave where things get ridiculously ridiculous. Oh, friendly fire, maybe? Yeah, this is getting a little bit bad. Uh, okay, let's try and take you guys. <laughs> Jesus, look. Ah, I couldn't even. Dear God, did you guys see me glide away? That's how laggy this wave is. Oh my God. Uh, this is crazy. This is a whole lot of craziness, boys. Actually, this is like very laggy. Please don't do this to me now, game. We have to kind of like survive this. And I, I don't want to die. I've, I've stated my intentions of not dying before. I fully intend to follow through on them. Also, in between waves, I think it's a good idea for us to try to use the pineapples to heal. And then in the middle of battle, we can actually... Oh, you guys better not... Oh, no, the Velociraptor! No! You... Oh, you freaking stealers. You kill stealers. I don't even get an assist in this game. I wish an assist would count for killing these Velociraptors, you know? That'd be pretty helpful. I think... Oh, oh, yeah. But using the pineapples in between is good, because then we can keep our best healing item in our quick slot. And uh, the other stuff in the other slot, please don't- Okay, they stole that Velociraptor. I love you guys so much. I, I really, really appreciate you. You're just so, so kind, man. Yeah, I, I, maybe if they could change that quest, too, to incorporate these hunters helping us out. Or at least maybe if we do, like, a lot of damage to, like, a Velociraptor. That'd be pretty nice, all things considered. And hold on. I want the Velociraptor. There you go! No, that's not a Velociraptor. Also, why were you not shooting? Buddy pal, there we go. Oh, no, that's not, that's not- Come on, give me the Velociraptor. No, no, they're gonna take my- No! They freaking took my kill again. At least we ain't naked. I guess we got that going for us. Also, these people are dying all over the map. We're gonna have to go on a freaking Easter egg hunt if we want to find all the dead dudes. Okay, there we- Dear God, did you guys see how much spit that was? That's not good. Okay, okie dokie. We might want to- uh, Okay, well, it looks like the hunters are at least attacking the weaker one. Getting him out of here for us. or doing some solid damage to him at least. And Oh, oh I'm gonna punch you out, boy. What's you gonna do? Nothing. You can't do nada when I'm on the other side. Oh, let's definitely use those pineapples right now. How many more waves we got? Probably a couple more. Uh, oh, Velociraptor, you are mine. Thank you. We'll probably get, uh, my best guess is we'll get 10 out of this. Because it's like, what, one more wave and then the final Ankylosaur wave, at least from my knowledge of this uh, event. So, oh, no, 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 no. Dang it. I hate these things with a passion. Oh, oh my God. I hate those things with a pretty big passion too. Please, Mr. Boss Man, if you want to die. Thank you kindly. Now, this last ankle sore wave, I don't plan on doing the dirty work myself. Maybe I'll do a couple of punches here or there. I'll go Mike Tyson on a man. Muhammad Ali, flow like a butterfly. Ooh, got that killing blow. Cause I sting like a bee. <laughs> let's get some looting. Let's see. Hey, nothing too crazy. Uh, I guess we got some clothes. Pretty run down clothes, but hey, I'm not gonna turn down some clothes, dude. Clothes are dope. So we can start picking those up. Maybe we'll even start collecting the rest of the stuff too. What about you over? Hey, micro Uze. Hey, ump 45. Hey, absolutely nothing that I can hurt things with. I mean, I could throw the rope at them. I just don't know if that's really going to do any degree of the thing known as uh, hurt. What about here? Got a couple of things. Got the brass knuckles. I don't know. Brass knuckles are pretty, pretty poopy. They're like glorified punching. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm gonna leave those behind. Sorry there, big boy. But uh, with that, is there anything else that we have to do? Or is that 
I think that that might be everything. Well, hi diggity dog. Things are looking up for the people known as us. I think so, at least. Why don't we head on over to the inbox? Um, do we need some food? No, I don't think so. Actually, ooh, we do need a little bit of hydration. Dang it. Can't you guys drop some water or something? That'd be a little bit more useful. Uh, let's see what the energy situation's looking like. Actually, I want to go and say hello to my little friend here. Hey, buddy. Hey there. How, how, how you doing, Dino? I'll be coming for your butt in a future update. I know it's probably going to be really hard to kill you, but uh, no worries. You see me there? Hold on. Uh, we we got to get his eye in view. Oh, he might be able to see us. Oh, look at that. I think he's saying hi in Dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's, look at that. He, oh, he wants to come and give us a hug so bad. No worries, dude. I'll give you a hug in a later update. Like, it... I might be hugging your dead body, but I, I I will give you a hug, guaranteed. All right, I'm just I'm just a kind, compassionate individual like that. God, I can't wait to fight that thing. That is gonna be awesome. But with that, that is a perfect point for us to go ahead and end this Jurassic Survival video on because I think that we do not have the necessary energy to run back to the Battle Royale. So instead, we will go ahead and actually start walking back. But uh, with that, I think that's a great point for us to go ahead and end it off. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure the like button, make sure you're subscribed for more and uh, Definitely let me know in that comment section down below. But yeah, it's going to take a little bit more energy than we got. So let's get to walking. Let's get to talk. Hold on. Is that another crash car? Did the, was the timer on that thing just that long? I don't even remember. I literally went to that crash car at the end of last video. After I ended it off, I went to the map and I just saw it. So I'm like, oh, okay. I'll head on over there and start the next one. <laughs> but uh, that's going to do it for me for now. Thank you guys a whole time for watching. That was a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.